a great crowd Sunday night. Downtown Dallas, Texas, American Airlines Center. Finney Smith guards him. Mandel, dribbling, driving, tossing, and pushing. Just the fact that we're in these games, you know, rather than last year, you know, it was, it was games that we weren't in down the stretch, but this is like a perfect opportunity for us as a group to just learn. And, um, you know, eventually we'll, we'll start pulling out these games that's I'm close down the stretch. That's the end of the game. The Mavericks hold on 114 to 105. I think it's amazing. It's probably, besides Amway, my favorite arena to play in. Um, somewhere I grew up a lot coming to these games. It's special having my family and my friends come out and support me. Uh, and it just means a lot, you know, to be from Dallas and coming back here and playing here. A place called Fortis MMA, my old gym. I used to work out here when I was living here. A little bit of a balance of an outlet. I always think the martial arts is a, is a way to kind of Clear the mind, clear your head a little bit, and be able to just a little bit of a stress reliever. But I think there's just a level of mental toughness that goes into it. The owner of the gym, Saif Saud, is a good friend, and he opened it originally with Darren Williams. Yeah, so Darren's really big into the MMA, and so they opened the gym together. And so that when Darren was here playing with the Mavericks, we, you know, obviously we've known each other, and so we started going over there training together a little bit as well. Jamal's been doing it, I'd say, on and off about five years. You know, it's a different sport than he's used to, but, you know, he's a great competitor. Having him, you know, go back to the fundamentals was pretty much the toughest part, and, and him not being so hard on himself. Um, once he was able to gauge that, you know, he, he excelled very quickly. You know, I have a lot of clients that do different things, and, uh, you know, the people that bring the most energy to me are usually like the highest successful people. And that's really the only people that I really train because, you know, I'm real busy with myself training. This is my first job coming into fighting was I had to be a trainer, I had to do something on the side. So it was uh, something I picked up on real fast in college. And, you know, I only train uh, really high level people like that where they have a high level mindset. And, um, you know, NBA head coach, and, you know, I saw him, I saw him when he was here with the Mavs. He was the, you know, assistant coach for years and just grinded his way up. and. Um, you know, I like the energy, so every time he comes in town, I love to get some work in. Use the legs. Uh, I, I think what a jiu-jitsu and uh, combat sports does, it's, um, it, it takes that uh, ego out and uh, it gives you um, that able to slow down and uh, your, your thought process and analyze in, in a very high stress situation, right? And you get to, uh, you broaden your vision. Today, uh, we did a lot of striking. Uh, you know, he does a lot of striking, uh, but I think he uh, enjoys jiu-jitsu a lot more. But uh, he, we did a lot of striking just to keep his cardio up and get those reps back in. And, uh, you know, just in case he has to square up on the court or anything. But, uh, you know, so it's nice to have him come in and work. But he does he does really well with jiu-jitsu. He listens so good. You know, I think as a coach, you, that has to be one of your attributes is being able to listen. You got to listen to players. You listen to fans. Listen to everybody, like, telling you what to do. And you got to put it together yourself. And, uh, putting together those game plans with him, is, it's always fun to see what he does and challenge him, for sure. Welcome again to Magic Basketball, as the Magic take on the Golden State Warriors. They're the defending NBA champions. They've won four titles in the last nine years, but they're off to a slow start this year. He's got Bancaro. Bancaro rips it through. <laughs> Under a minute to play. Everybody rising in the Amway Center. Jalen Suggs backs it out against Thompson. Shot clock is at five. Three point shot. Rainbow. Rainmaker. Magic maker. Orlando by three. Career high for that guy, Jalen Suggs. Murray looking. Play. Double team. Thompson, one second left. Floater, no good! The Magic win! And the podium in the Magic.
Magic Kingdom. 130, 129. This is such an amazing team. We've been doing everything the right way all season. We've come up short a couple close ones, a couple tough ones. We just stuck with it. You know, we had a real heart-to-heart -heart conversation last night, just us as players uh, and the coaching staff, uh, about what we need to do and, you know, how about we need to change this culture, you know, get used to winning, get used to moments like this where we finish and close it out. And that's exactly what we did today. So a great team win. Uh, we stuck together. We fought. And, man, what a great one in O-Town.